And look at this spoon, Jaguar, spoon, Jaguar. It's the same shape. So, nice sunny day. It's the weekend, you know what that means? It's spoiler day. And see up there? That's a plane, right? Planes generating lift, which is aerodynamics. This is exactly like what we're going to be talking about right now. Okay? <laughs> so it's a good time. Thank you very much. Mate. That was. <laughs> so basically, why a spoiler? Because on the back of the XFR, you've got this tiny little spoiler. I'll show you what that actually means, okay? So, when air hits the car, it comes across this bonnet, right? When it hits here, it travels over the top of the car, okay? All the way along and back down. Now, as it's coming down this slope, if it comes off here, it will continue coming down here. And that sort of arc shape is a longer distance to travel of the air than what it would be the air coming straight across underneath the, the car. So, the car under, the air underneath the car is going straight, so it's got a constant speed. But the air going across the top has got further the travel to meet the other air underneath, uh, you know, when it comes up from underneath. And because it's got further the travel, it's got to travel faster to get there. When air travels faster, it actually has a lower pressure, which is just like the aeroplane wing, generates lift. So, if you travel fast enough, <laughs> with aerodynamics like this, it will actually start taking off. <laughs> In theory, right? But that's, that's why they put aerodynamic tweaks on the car. So, because this is a fast car, they have things like this. So, so, as the air comes down here, it's this. Instead of it carrying on, this little spoiler spoils the airflow. That's why it's called a spoiler. I didn't <laughs> it spoils know Spoils the airflow. The air comes down here and gets lifted here and it creates a vortex there which slows that airflow down so it brings it back down to more neutral air, air, air pressures which keeps it on the road i didn't know that about the that's name. why it's called a spoiler i didn't know that at all so the ones that are on the back up here they're called wings it's basically it's an airplane wing but upside down so again the airflow comes comes underneath has got a, a dome shape coming this way right it's not the fact that the air's hitting that pushing it down it's the fact the air that goes underneath travels further, which has a lower pressure, which sucks it down to the floor. That's what a wing does, okay? Okay, so if this is the car, this is the front. The air is coming in over the bonnet, hit, hitting the windscreen, going over the top, coming down. And I've just put this little dip, um, spoiler on the back, little ducktail spoiler, just to show what happens, right? So, I'm just gonna hold, Hold it like that so it's flopping, easy to move. And I'm gonna bring it in, and you'll see it gets held there, but I can pull it away quite easily. Okay, so this water is representing the airflow, and I can just pull that away quite easy. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to put the, uh, the blue tack on the underside just so it's the same weight and show you what the difference is when there's no spoiler there. Now, as you can see, the, the weight of that blue tack is now on the inside of the spoon. I'm going to dangle the spoon just as before. Oh, it kind of just sucked straight out of my hand there. So you see it's moving into it. So I've got to put it all the way over there before it removes. And that's that airflow sucking the spoon that way. As soon as I get it just on there, it attaches to the spoon and goes straight over. See the difference with aerodynamics? And that's what that little tiny spoiler does. It breaks that and stops that from happening. Cool. Science lesson 101. All right, so guys, I'm going to explain the spoon method on a diffuser, but... I've just, <laughs> getting down here, I've just spotted how dirty my tailpipes are. So I, I've bought some stuff to actually um, clean those up. It's about 89p. I'll show you that in another video. So watch out for those, okay? So here, anyway, the shape of the car underneath, okay? At the back, like I mentioned earlier on, with the diffuser being curved, you don't want it coming in straight like that. Although it looked really nice and low from the back, 
you don't want it and it's not for grain clearance it's for aerodynamics so so this curvature up here just like i showed you before with a spoon that way which which the airflow going across and coming along that curve making it suck upwards upside down so the air is coming along coming around this curved edge and this is going to suck it this way so that's when it gets pulled to the floor that's what this does it helps control the airflow coming back out to the normal world reduce the drag which is good and gives you downforce there's suction coming down so it's, it's drag free downforce where a spoiler and a wing creates drag but gives you downforce so this is free downforce having having a diffuser but this isn't the efficient version um so here you've got to control the air coming from a, a squeezed gap let me get rid of my spoon a squeezed gap to coming up to this level level so there's a, a bigger volume area here so that air suddenly slows down and it actually gets a higher pressure area here which means the differential for the pressure here to the to where it's squeezed down there where it's going to be a lower pressure which is what brings that car down when it gets high here it actually helps push the car forward in theory right <laughs> if you had a big low pressure area so if that came out square you'd have air coming out low come to this area where there's suddenly a great big square end no control of the air coming back up so it's going to have a big vortex here which creates a massive low low pressure which which uh, actually sucks your car backwards. So you're trying to go forward and, uh, and the more speed you, you, you get up, the more effect this has and actually holds you back. So controlling that back, back into the atmosphere at the back is very, very important. But with this one, um, it doesn't have any fins on it. So what the fins do, do they, they stop, they keep the air in this area. Well, at the moment, that air expansion can come get wasted out the back, so you don't get the real effect of it. So by having those fins here, it keeps it in this area, and then you get the full effect of that diffuser. That's why on Formula One cars, they have great big diffusers coming down, and they're reducing the uh, the effect of them this year to slow the cars down by making sure that instead of having a fin that big, is that big, kind of thing, right? So it actually reduces the down downfall that they get. So. I've got one of these on order with the fins and that'll be another video later on. So there's plenty of stuff coming up and I'll explain to you what all these things mean and why I'm doing them. Well then guys, thank you very much. Bye.